All right, we're in for another uh, puck stops here. I've got the goaltender from the University of Arizona. I've got Nolan Bavalsic with me from Los Gatos, California. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, and you're, uh, you get to win tonight over the University or Maryville University. What was it like out there? And talk a little bit about your uh, your victory. Well, I thought the guys played well. Um, I felt very comfortable uh, in that. Um, obviously, there's some improvement that we can do to the next game and just the rest of the season. Um, Overall, I think it was a pretty solid game. Talk a little bit about being a part of this program down here. What did you know about the University of Arizona before you came here, and is it what you expected? Uh, to be honest, I didn't really know much about Arizona. Um, I reached out to a couple other schools, and um, this was kind of the only school that really approached me. So I, uh, I felt comfortable going here. I never visited the school, so my first day here was my first day visiting the school, which is kind of weird. Um, but I love I love it so far. The the program's awesome. Um, Berman's a great coach, and he's a lot of advice for all the players and I. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really happy here so far. Talk just a little bit about the crowd again tonight. You guys always have a good crowd here, but they were into it tonight again. Um, it's something that that you guys have a chance to play in front of, and and just give me your thoughts on it. Um, I think. Well, when the crowd's into it, it gives us a little bit more momentum to really do better for them because they come out and support us. They don't really want to uh, watch us lose. So I think it's a it's a good experience to have them really in, into the game, and it helps us out. Let's talk a little bit about your goaltending style. When did you start playing goalie, and why did you want to be a goaltender? Um, I started when I was around seven. Um, I started when I was six. I was a forward, and then out of nowhere, um, one of the guys on my team uh, – Forgot his goalie gear, so I offered to play, and then ever since then I, uh, I uh, continued to play goalie, and I, I love it ever since. What was uh, what was hockey like when you were growing up in California? Um, it's different. I mean, it's obviously not like back east hockey, um, but when I was playing, it was it was really a challenge to get um, to get uh, ice around where we are. Um, but now it's a huge program, the Junior Sharks, and um, it's really thriving and bringing a lot of kids to good hockey programs. So as you grew up playing goaltender, did you have somebody you idolized, somebody you wanted to be uh, like or play like? Um, I started playing when I was eight, and my uncle's actually the caterer for the San Jose Sharks, and I was a big fan of uh, Evgeny Dabakov. And uh, ever since then, I, I kind of styled towards him, but then the whole style of game changed, so I had to switch that real quick. Talk about ACHA D1 hockey. You've had a chance to see some of it now for a little while. Tell me what it's been like, and is that what you expected as well? Um, well I came here, and I, I, I played my first game, and I was like, oh, shit, this is kind of different than when I was playing. Um, and um, it's it's a little different. And so um, it's definitely a, a higher-paced game than what I, what I was used to, but I, it's a good good hockey, and, and there's some good teams out there. Talk about your uh, your recent road trip. You had a chance to get to Oklahoma. I had a chance to go to Colorado, Missouri. Uh, you've had a chance to see a little bit of, uh, of the west of uh, the area. So what do you think of them, and what do you think of their programs? Um, the road trip was definitely um, a little stressful for school, um, but the, the programs that we played were definitely pretty good. Missouri State's one of the, one of the top teams that we really want to really beat all the time. So... Um, I think it was it was cool to see different areas of the of the Midwest and play the teams and organizations and I think uh, I think we did a good overall. <laughs> so the bus ride wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely nicer than flying because you can do all your homework and kind of relax a little bit more than than, uh, than flying. Flying you gotta wake up early and it's a little stressful, but. Um, I prefer busing over, over flying. <laughs> so rumor has it you guys passed the eighth grade in the spelling contest, is that correct? Oh yeah, the, guy, the guys did good. <laughs> awesome. Well, one final question for you. If you're talking to a young goaltender right now, what would you tell them? What would they need to do to get to your level? Um, just play every puck like it's a game and just don't give up on every shot and just, just try, try your hardest. <laughs> Nolan, I appreciate your time. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.